Oh my whoa. god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Look at you. Who's most likely to fight <laughs> off a bee? <laughs> a bumblebee. All right. <laughs> oh, this video has had so many challenges youtube life is not easy it's not easy man hey guys welcome to chennai to lagos and we are back with another video yep yeah today we're gonna do who's most likely to challenge yes so basically um there are a couple of questions i'm gonna see who does whatever the question says whether it's tom or you know me. what it is yeah so <laughs> should we start <laughs> because i'm always trying to explain these things <laughs> like yeah. i'm a teacher <laughs> yeah i'm sure we're not the first youtube <laughs> <laughs> Do you I just this? think we should give some context. Yeah, anyway. I agree. I agree. Oh my whoa, god. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Look at you. Who's most likely to fight <laughs> off a bee? <laughs> a bumblebee. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this video has had so many challenges. <laughs> YouTube life is not easy. It's not easy, man. Right. And by the way, look at how good she looks in the Nigerian jersey. Yeah. What is it about? Like, what's written at the back? Oh my God. Okay. Um, this is a signed jersey by JJ Okocha. If you're a football fan and if you know African footballers, you know that that's a big deal. He himself signed this jersey. And now I'm wearing it. And now she's wearing it. All right. So yes. Are you ready? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> In a probability, you know, I, I did statistics and like it's a 0.00001% of winning a lottery and I think it would be Tom. I think it would be you. Oh, either way, I mean, what's yours is mine and what's mine yeah, is mine. Yeah, but I can so. explain why I would say you because like you're just a scientist with these things. I feel like you'd... I'll look hack for, the system. You look for a system <laughs> and you have like a mathematical formula. I'll just put some patterns and yeah. be like, hmm. You're my lottery. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. I got a point for like the most yes, cheesiest did. phrase. Who's most likely to worry about small things? Oh my god. Take it to the bank. Kapoor stick. Is that, I hope you put yourself <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I worry about a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, but I'm learning not how to, you know, not do yeah. that like let me tell you the one that gets to me something okay and i and i get where she's coming from but like um and it it says a lot about the kind of character she has so maybe you're we're going somewhere and you know um we're meant to be there at like maybe 10 yeah and it's like 9 30 but maybe we've not left where we're meant to leave and she just starts getting agitated and yeah yeah i'm very time conscious it's but a very good thing. Do, does that irritate you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. Provided it's not like, no, I, I get where she's coming from. It's a very good trait to have. But yeah, I can't lie. There are times when, you know, it it um, really... And you know, the funny thing is that <sighs> Tom is a straight opposite of me. Like, he is so slow. He's like a slow. What? <laughs> Like we're getting ready, we're supposed to be somewhere, the Uber is here. Switch, switch off the camera. What? I'm like already in the Uber and then Tom would be like, just tell him to wait like 10 <laughs> minutes. Let me I just, don't tell. I'm doing my hair. <laughs> and you're like, okay. And he's so slow, like he does one thing, then the next, then the next. I'm and a perfectionist. I can do like a hundred things. I am a perfectionist. Time. I like to do tasks right. And um, at times it might cause me to take more time than necessary but i'm not slow who's most likely to snore in their sleep <laughs> yeah this is really embarrassing let me tell you i like, feel like people who know me through this video think that i'm such a gentle person and anytime like, she I takes like a nap like drink a anytime she takes she takes a nap drink <laughs> <laughs> During the day, <laughs> you think there's like a generator outside. 
funniest thing. <laughs> funniest thing. Funniest thing. <laughs> I have a funny story. I just yeah, say okay, you, Are you, you the one who's going to say it? Should I say it? Yeah, just say it. So she told me there was this other day where, you know, she, <laughs> she just woke up in the middle of the night and she thought that there was this, you know, huge bee or something no, around. I thought it was a bear or a lion. Yeah, a bit. In fact, that makes it worse. So she, she literally heard a bear and lion in her sleep. But guess what? So I, I woke up and I was like, look, I even put my flashlight and I was like looking around the room. Totally ridiculous. Yeah. Guess what? <laughs> it was her own snore. <laughs> I heard myself snoring. <laughs> I thought it was a lion. <laughs> you know you're on a whole new level when you wake yourself up <laughs> with your snore. Uh, wow. There's a whole scientific reasoning behind it. I have like the sinus things over here. Um, that makes me sniffle a lot mm. and so I think when I'm sleeping like you know on my back like yeah. this it's hard for me to breathe so I have to like I you know I do that thing so I have to sleep on my side a lot mm. or on my stomach mm. yeah it, okay yeah. that explains it give yeah. us the science but yeah she I feel woke like herself my entire up. like you know character has been broken through the snow topic no it's okay it's okay okay it's fine it's okay, we are all humans, we all snow. Who's most likely to be the richest person in the room? I'm just gonna say that. A, 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 A. I just. Why? Why do you think so? I just think you have the traits to be a rich person. <laughs> like you have, you know, your artistic side and you have your businesses and like. You, you, I just see so much hope in you being a very rich person. Yeah, not that I won't be rich, but. I, I think I'm happy with you being the richer person in the room. That's very touching. Yeah. And I want the best for you, so. Of course. You're engaged to me. Yeah. Now what's mine is, is yours. Yeah. What's mine is? Yours. Yeah. Who is most likely to listen to K-pop? Yeah. They have very good music. My they sister do. has got me so involved in the thing and I get really annoyed. But yo, real recognize real. They have good musicians. I'm not talking about like the mainstream stuff, like the really underground things. So yeah, K-pop is a vibe. Mm -hmm. I like K-pop too. It's a vibe. Yeah, but I don't really listen to it. But I enjoy the music when, yeah. you know, Fumi plays it. Yeah. <clears throat> Shout out to all you K-pop stars. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Who and where? <laughs> where? Uh, oh my. Most likely to be the best at math. Oh man. Yeah. She's oh, just a natural she, mathematician. She could just, you know, I feel like a lot of people are like, because she's Indian. <laughs> you know, there's that thing. <sighs> okay. Yeah. It's super bright, guys. It's super bright. It's Super bright. Math. I'm not good at math because I'm Indian. That's that's <laughs> the thing. I just like math. Yeah. Most likely to walk into a wall. And I've done this. I've done this. Yeah. In fact, I should be most likely to walk into walls. Yeah. Because I love reading while I'm walking. So at some point, I end up getting like sort of dizzy and I walk into the yeah. wall. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're saying it like, you know... Yeah, that's normal, you It's know? so normal. Most likely to be late to their own wedding. <sighs> this is so sad to say. I'm just going to do this. This is so sad to say. I feel like <clears throat> when it comes to time, we are the exact opposites. I will get to a place, I will attend a meeting minutes before the meeting even starts. And then... Tom is the exact opposite. He's so... I don't know what goes in his head. But I don't like, get there late. Don't say, I, I don't know, get there late. I get there on late. time. Listen. But no, 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 no. I think we need to explain this. I am on time. Time is one of the things I've learned to extremely value, right? But she, her value for time is on a whole new level that doesn't make sense. I wow. think let's put those two things out. <laughs> that escalated fast. Excuse yeah? me? Be there at 10 o'clock. I'll probably be there like, you know, maybe five minutes before. She, 20 minutes. Exactly. That's why I look like I have the problem, guys. I am, I'm not as bad as she's making me look. I'm very upset at what you just told me. No, but it's not a bad thing. 
you actually have value for time. It's not a bad thing, but I'm just... There's the on-time people and the in-time people. I'm the in-time people. What does in-time mean? Like, even before the time. Is that a thing? Yeah. Okay. Be on time. Be in time. All right, guys. Um... Most likely to overeat until they get oh, sick. Oh, God. Yeah. Show it boldly. Let me tell you guys a story. So, some time ago... Um, there were so many stories. There was some time ago, like, you know, my mom made some biryani. Um, we made it together. Yeah, with, with Kalpa. Yeah. So, the Indian biryani. Um, and Kalpa was so excited. You know, she was so happy to be eating what she managed her of home and everything. And... We had eaten a whole plate and she just came back and she's like, you know what we do? Let's go upstairs. Let's come back down and eat again. And at that moment, I realized, I don't think she knew how much she ate and how much she was planning to eat. And ever since that day, she's proved it time after time. Kalpa can't estimate the right portion for her body. Yeah. And at times it makes her either overeat or, you know, find a human garbage can like myself yeah um most likely to sleep anywhere i think it's a gift and a problem why is it a gift because if i'm tired i can do something about it the problem is that i don't know how to sleep with my mouth closed i feel like people who are able to do such things uh you've been gifted by god (laughs) yeah i don't get it like i'm that guy if i'm in a bus you know, like back in the day, school buses and everything, car car rides, if I'm sitting and I'm, you know, just, yeah. It's a big problem, guys. It's a problem. And she's always filming. I have always. like a hundred pictures. Even before and we were videos, dating. And videos. Um, when we were friends and we would go to all these events, Tom would always fall asleep in the, um, in the bus or in the car. And I would just find it so hilarious. And I like, kept taking, like my drive is full of Tom just doing this. <laughs> Most likely to learn a foreign language. She's a linguistic genius. Yeah, she's very, very good at Actually, languages. Actually, before I chose... Well, I didn't choose my undergrad. Yeah. My dad chose it for me. But, you know, um, when you know how when you want to pick courses, you just go wild and yeah. like, say, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be yeah. that. So one of the few things I wanted to do was linguistics. Um, and in that, I wanted to look at anthropology, like wow. understand languages from that different cultures, different societies, um, and just the dialects as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's something I wanted to do. Wow. But here we are. I didn't even know that. I think this is the first time I'm hearing it really? properly. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to. And I'm, my mom was like, you're not going to get a job for that. So let's do something where, you know, you could earn. <laughs> Wow. Okay. That's amazing. And I grew up learning about five languages. Yeah. By the time I was five, so I think. That's crazy. Yeah, I think at some point you just pick languages. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Um, most likely to join the FBI. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know where I pick these questions from. Who'd you put? Me, myself. Yeah, for sure. Me, myself, and I. I feel like she has all the traits. She's. She's a techie, number one. So, you know, she can be that person who, if you need her to break into systems and stuff, she does that. And then she's, look at how beautiful she is. She's going to be like the key person on the field. The undercover agent. Undercover agent. And then, as we've just learned, she speaks about five or six languages. Man, you should actually get a... Oh, we're very sorry. You should actually get a job with the FBI. (laughs) Not FBI. They won't give me one now yeah. that we've talked about it. They won't. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Mission sorry. failed. <laughs> um, yeah, but she would be a good agent. The only thing that I feel is your accents. Like, if you're forced to, <laughs> to do like an accent, you know, like a I'm British. I'm horrible at that's, changing that's accents. That's where your cover is blown. Yeah. And yeah. I can't change accents. Everything like. until that point, you're the perfect agent. But then when you open your mouth to try and speak like a different culture, oh, 
Yeah. When I try too hard, you will know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, most likely to to mistakenly drive a car into the ocean. Did you put yourself? I myself, yes. Explain yourself. I won't even talk. Because I don't know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, the last time I drove a car was with my dad, and it was a manual. And we, like, he used to take me, you know, just rounds. Um, and it wasn't much. It was, like, just two minutes of something. And yeah. I was so proud of myself for having learned it. And then sometimes, like, now when I see people driving, I'm like, I have no idea what they're doing. We're going to fix that. I'm trusting my life. In your to a person, this Uber driver that I really hope, you know, does his, his job well. As well. Yeah. 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 So I mean, I would totally drive a car into the ocean because I don't know how to drive, <laughs> <laughs> and I've taken no step to learn how to drive. We'll sort that out. I think I need to go to a driving school next year. Yeah. Um, most likely to get lost in a strange town. Is it? Did you put your name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I can remember do you know why I have a story I know for this story you're gonna tell. Which one? the Boston one yeah so <laughs> <laughs> so we went for um, when we were in uh, uni we went for a trip um, it was a Harvard model you know United Nations thing yeah so we were on the same team and we went to Boston and I remember we had gone out and obviously we, this was our first time in Boston. So um, all of us were just trying to get to understand the city. And I remember the day after one of the sessions or so, we were with Kalpa and um, yeah, I, I don't know how we, we started talking and they were like, okay, just direct us. No, we you were, see, we were a bunch of us and you know, Boston has those like streets, right? Like, like. I don't know how to say it, <laughs> but they all look identical. Let me not yeah. lie. They all look identical. So um, at some point, we were directing everyone, and we kept getting lost. And then I looked like the person who knew <laughs> what she was saying. That's what happened. So I'm like, I saw this building on my way here. Have guys. you seen confidence Let's go right. in the wrong direction? Me. Like, and I was such a bad shepherd. <laughs> I just drove the sheep into And she nowhere. was so confident. You know when somebody is so confident, you're like, man. Yeah, they, they must, know, they must know where they're going. And I thought I knew, but I we got lost. All of us got lost because yeah. of me. Um, and I think that's one of the few times I realized I'm super bad at remembering directions. So which is one of the things that, you know, discourages me from driving. Because I'm like, how am I going to drive if I can't remember the streets? <laughs> Just be going in circles. Ah, yeah. Most likely to fart in public. Straight up. Tom is really horrible at these things. I just hate it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so annoying. It's so disgusting. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's so disgusting. Let me tell you something. You got to do what you got to do. Like, you can be, um, you can be posh and all, but, yeah. When, when, when the moment comes and you have nowhere to go to, you just have to do what you got to do, so... I will gladly own this. There's I nothing. Do there's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, You're all human, right? Civilized human. You know, if you anyway, this is a very controversial topic because if you don't do it, you can kill yourself. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you give me really silly reasons. No, but do you know that that's actually statistics? No statistics. <laughs> statistics. <laughs> it's, it's 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 biology. Anyway, we won't get into that right now, but yeah, it is what it is, guys. Most likely to eat rice until they drop. I said you. What? Why me? Because you do eat rice quite and a bit. And you, you eat rice also quite a bit. Okay, then I guess we both will yeah, eat rice until Yeah, this is a tie. Let's, 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 you're, you're an Indian. I'm a Nigerian. I feel like our cultures, the root of each culture is rice. Rice. So, <laughs> let's move to the next. Um, most likely to have unread emails. 
he has unread emails, no. unread WhatsApps, oh, unread God. Instagram DMs, oh unread God. Facebook no, DMs, no, all of them. No, all the unreads no, no. are hundreds of listen, them. Listen, listen, can I explain? <sighs> My email one... Can I tell one... you guys the coolest, not the coolest, the uncoolest story? The first few times Tom and I used to talk, he used to let me like... He used to give me the blue ticks. Is that how they say it? But yeah, like, you know, I would text him and be like, hey, Tom, it's been long, na na na, and he would just blue tick me. No, 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 no that's not right. We would that's have how conversations, you know, and it's completely wrong. We would, I would start a conversation with her, and I guess the problem is that I never concluded the conversation. And I think that happens a lot to people. You start a conversation with somebody, hey, what's up? How are you doing? Well, yourself, I'm good. You, uh huh, and then you start talking about certain things. But then I've never really understood why, okay, it's just me, but concluding conversations on like WhatsApp, it's kind of strange for me because I feel like when I come back there, we can either just finish it off. But there's some people who expect you to round it up. Like, okay, it was nice talking to you, chat soon, chat later. I never understood that. Like, it's just something that it's only now I'm beginning to realize that, okay. Maybe people actually need that kind of closure for conversation. So we would have a convo and maybe I ask a question, she responds. And in my own mind, the conversation is done for the day. <laughs> and I was going to come back and pick up from that. It's not, it was not with, you know, yeah. But as for the whole email thing, it's because the emails you're looking at are my... I have a lot of subscription things, so... At times, they just enter Don't the way. <laughs> no, yeah, but you see... Uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, most likely to be a cool parent. You know what it is. Who'd I think put? it's really unfair, honestly. Did you put my name? Yeah. Yeah, why'd you put my name? I think it's really unfair because I know I'd be taking most of the the spanking no and the scolding we're gonna share that and together and the nitty is like why are you leaving we your shoes here we will share that why are you leaving your socks here together and then Tom will come and be like looking so cool in his shades and like hey how was your day come sit with me and tell me about no, your no you see let me tell you why okay let me tell you why but it's not even that that all of that aside I feel like deep down even yourself deep down I'm, st I'm still a kid right that kid in me is still very very much alive so I see myself you know, watching the cartoons my kids are watching, the action cartoons, you know, we're watching Marvel with them and getting all excited, jumping up and down, you know. And then I see myself just wanting to do things that kids want to do. So, yeah, I feel like when that clicks together, there's, they're going to look at me like the cool parent, you know what I mean? I guess, but I guess we'll have our moments as well. Yeah. yeah. So that's a wrap. That is a wrap. That is a wrap. Yeah. Wow, this was fun. This is really fun. I feel offended and happy at the same time. Why? I feel like there's some things that, you know, you brought out a side of me that... Anyway. You didn't want to hear? You just told people I snore. You told them you snore. You put that question there. I didn't ask you to put that question there. But hey, it was fun. Wasn't it fun? Yeah? So yes, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, guys. Um... I don't know. If you guys have more, most likely to questions, you can just put it in the comments. And, and we, will we will let you know whether it's Tom or me. Yeah. Um, yeah, but thank you for, you know, um, giving us your support. Even in our last video, uh, which was pretty difficult to make. Oh, my God. Uh, but you guys were so sweet and you encouraged us and prayed for us. And that's amazing. So thank you so much for that. Yeah. All right, guys. So, yes, we shall see you same time next week. Next, I said next week. My <laughs> next week. Next um, week, yep. Yeah, and a lot of interesting things to come. We will keep you guys posted on all those other things like we talked about on the last video. And, um, yeah, we shall continue um, to hopefully add value to your life. So, with that said, be blessed, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. It's just do this, open up your eyes.
Jesus, Nanook. <laughs> I feel like I look retarded. <laughs>